Marin's a little bit different as a county because we're the oldest county in the nine Bay Area, so we have a very large older age population which is increasing. In addition, when I talk about MTC issues, I often run into skepticism, and part of what that's reflected in in this report is, for example, in attachment A, when you look at the distribution of household and employment forecasts, you have three letters in there, Fairfax, Sausalito, um, Corte Madera. All of those officials disagree with the forecasted numbers that are indicated in the report, both for jobs, and as all of those cities point out, they're built out. They don't have room to build new kinds of housing. So the projections from ABAG on, and I've looked at ABAG's projections from Marin County historically, and I've always been skeptical of them because I've never seen how they could generate those ideas of continued employment. We're not doing what Sonoma is trying to do. We're not trying to attract more businesses and grow the county. So that doesn't really foster support when I try to promote MTC activities. Why are these projections not more in line with what the local people provide as numbers? Well, I guess there's a couple of aspects to that. In terms of the, the growth distribution for the draft preferred scenario utilizes our regional land use model, urban sim, for the first time. So it's, it, it, in terms of it's the first plan, it's the first cycle where we've utilize local input local input to the land use model, the general plan uh, database that's a part of the land use model as a basis for saying what's going to happen going forward. And surely given 101 cities and nine counties and millions of parcels, there are errors in there and we'll find them and we'll try to fix them as we move forward. The other factor is honestly that a regional plan is somewhat different than a local plan and regional objectives to the extent possible should be aligned with local objectives, but they're not necessarily going to be aligned in every way with every small jurisdiction in particular. Um, most small communities in this region have some capacity for growth. The, the capacity for growth is impeded by local policies, but it doesn't change the fact that parcels are available that could be either built through infill or just outright if the community chose to do so. It's ultimately local land use authority and their choice whether or not to do so, but it doesn't change the fact that if they chose to do so, there is actually capacity do, to do so in any of the communities that you mentioned. If you look at a simple example of how that actually turns out on the ground, um, the parcel inventory in a city like Sausalito shows that almost all the available parcels that would, quote, be available to be developed would be completely unfeasible to develop given the nature of the parcel and the required infrastructure and the necessary construction that would be required to put anything on that parcel. So in the abstract, you can create an inventory like that. People are not idiots. I mean, if developers could develop, they would develop those parcels. The reason they're sitting there undeveloped is because they're impractical to develop. So it's a false idea that there's all this available surplus.